I was going to video this uh, trip up the Warrenora River uh, and uh, do a bit of footage from the kayak as well, but unfortunately uh, the weather is really, really windy, so even though I've got a waterproof case on the phone, I'm not that keen on subjecting it to that much uh, abuse via the uh, elements. So we're not going to do it this time probably, unless I find a little creek or something to go up, in which case I'll, I'll, give, it a, I'll give it a go. But um, very nice uh, paddle, and I think on a nicer day with less wind it would be a fantastic place to come. I've, I've um, put in at um, the St George Rowing Club, which is on the Georges River. It's near the, uh, I think it's near the Como Gardens or something down on, on a point there. But uh, yeah, if you look up St George Rowing Club, not the one that's on the, the uh, Cooks River, the one that's on the Georges River, um, you'll, uh, you'll be able to find it quite easily. It's, uh, it's, been a, it's a nice place to come. I've come up this little tributary off the Warrenora River and uh, you know you always come up here hoping that uh, you might find a nice camping spot or something but uh, this might be a nice spot for a sort of swamp animal or something <laughs> it's pretty pretty manky mangrove but uh, I saw some interesting stuff outside I saw a sea eagle coming down and catching a fish which was really cool and uh, it's a nice paddle at least got me out of the wind for a little while you know, I'm going to head off out of here and try and get to the bridge and then I've got to get my, make my way home because I'm going to be really pushing for time. Okay. Kayak cam. <laughs> uh, this is just that little tributary I was talking about. Um, I'm going to be really careful coming down here because <laughs> I've already run this thing aground once. Um, I hit um, a sandbank, but it had a lot of vol uh, oysters on it, so I'm expecting there's going to be a giant uh, scrape mark on the bottom of the boat, so it ain't brand new no more. But uh, yeah, nice day for a paddle. And um, just testing out this little video stand. My sister in law Jenny gave me this little video stand, and when she gave it to me, she thought it was an in car, in -car holder. And as it turns out, it was this thing to hold your, your phone for video calls. And I was just thinking, who in their right mind is ever going to need to use something like that? Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty damn useless. And I nearly threw it away. And I'm glad I didn't because I've mounted it on the front of the kayak. And um, it makes a great old video stand for the, for the phone while I'm kayaking. And it also provides me with um, a way of using the phone if I'm doing any tutorials online or things like that. For, uh, art tutorials and, um, and that's going to make things make life a whole lot easier for me as well so yeah pretty much a useful device so never ever assume that something's useless there's always there's always an alternative use for it okay folks um, I've just run aground excellent <laughs> that's what happens when you don't pay attention to what you're doing that's why you're not allowed to use the phone in the car um, yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just travelling up this river, the Warrenora, in the hope that I can find some um, overnight spots, because I know probably most of this river bank um, says, you know, you're not allowed to camp, but um, it's kind of a case of, well, if you can only get to it by kayak, um, then who's going to stop you, which is great. And... Um, I've just ordered a, a, a hammock, a camping hammock, so I don't even need level ground. All I need is two trees at the right distance apart, and I can um, spend a night in the bush. And this, is, this was about a 21-minute drive for me to get to where I put in at the St. George Rowing Club. And um, as you can see, um, you know, I'm in the middle of uh, what appears to be nowhere, when in actual fact I'm in the middle of Sydney, which is great. So a lot of these waterways... Um, you know, you can't get to by car, but you can get to them by kayak. So, um, yeah, um, to all those people that used to watch this channel for ukulele videos, um, I haven't given up on the ukulele, don't worry. I'm going to uh, do a little bit more of that. At the moment, I'm just waiting for the um, school holidays to come along so I can uh, waste time instead of doing the building work I'm supposed to be doing. Brr!
Birdie Num Num. Birdie Num Num. The Principality of George. Yes, I've discovered this um, uninhabited island, so I've decided to claim it as my own. Well, it's kind of uninhabited. It's a little bit small, unfortunately. It only measures about three meters by six meters. Um, actually, I'm underneath the Warrenora Bridge. And I'm hoping the wind will be behind me all the way home, because if it's not, I'm going to be very tired. And this is the old, uh, the old bit where when you go near Menai, I think, you just have to come down here to this bridge. And now we've got this giant um, bridge that you can cross and you don't have to do the big the detour. And that's the Warrenora Bush Fire Brigade. So they must have boats that go up the river. And um, yes, very pretty place. Oh, just got loaded up again and um, I'm ready to go home and smash back a couple of gin and tonics, I think. Um, great trip home. The tide was up, so I took the little channel um, between the uh, mangrove island and the coast. Gave me a little bit of shelter. And also the wind was right behind me all the way, so there was bits where I could just um, sit with the paddle on top of the kayak and I was going faster than I was actually paddling, so it was a, it was a quick trip home. I'm just glad the wind didn't shift around because I'd have been in a lot of trouble. Anyway, hope um, you've uh, enjoyed the trip and uh, if you want to um, comment, comment down there and uh, you know, tell me what a dweeb I am or you know, be a troll, whatever. Um, but uh, if you're thinking of doing this trip, the Warrenora River, there's lots of little places you can go and, um, and paddle up and little bays and it's actually quite a nice paddle and it's close to Sydney. So if you've got a kayak, give it a try. Bye. I'll try pushing the button again. Well, this is the uh, the route that the trip took, if any of you are interested. Uh, we put the kayak in here at um, near the Como Swing Complex. This road that runs down here is, actually runs down to the St George Rowing Club. And there's a little boat ramp there and a little bit of a beach. And I put it in there. And if you follow the, the, uh, the cursor, I went up and underneath the... Uh, the Como Bridge, and I was going to go um, along this little uh, piece of water between Mangrove Island and the coast, but at low tide, I would not suggest that I did come back that way. Um, yeah, so I went up the Warrenora River, taking advantage of um, the banks so that uh, I could uh, avoid any, um, any issues. Had a little bit of a trip around Bonnet Bay on the way and kept going up the river and stopped here at the um the, the I think it's the Warrenora Bridge and uh had a little rest there and came back and like I said uh on the way back I had a lot of wind um assistance so it was a quicker trip. I'm just having a look to see if I can see the little uh creek I went up and it appears that it's not even on the map so it's only a little very very small creek so it's probably not indicated on maps but anyway um, that's the that's the route if you want to try the try the uh, the trip and I'm sure there's lots of other places you can go to on the Warrenora as well and I'm gonna have a good look around and see if I can work out another trip that I can do in a day but um, definitely worthwhile great trip <laughs>